Hello, it's Leslie. Good morning, Vietnam. All right, so today I'm here. I'm going to do a quick spread for the sign of Pisces. Okay. Pisces, we're going to pull a few cards. We're going to get straight into it and we're going to clarify those. Okay. First things that came out was the Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. Seven of Swords. Okay. Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. Okay, so. I'm just going to get one more card. One more card. Thank you, Spirit. And the King of Pentacles. Okay, so right off the bat, I see a love offer coming in, a successful love offer coming into the Pisces, the Queen of Cups, and it's going to be something to celebrate about in regards to this King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Hmm. Overall energy is the Ace of Wands, so it's a new passionate beginning, baby. <laughs> so basically what's going on with this is you all are going to get together and to possibly converse about this love offer and it's going to be successful it's going to make you really happy you're going to be in your power in your element you're going to be able to celebrate you're going to look good you're going to feel good he's going to feel like a real man okay so i'm going to clarify these cards yeah, because the King of Pentacles, he's looking as if, you know, I am the man. He's got, you know, grapes, berries, coins. He's got it. He's even got um, bull's horns on his head. So, I like to really think that this is a Taurus male. You can comment below if it resonates. Now, I also see you looking the opposite direction from him, though. So, it may be that, um, that you are acting as if you do not want this offer, but you know it's coming, but you're playing, you know, coy. You know, I don't, I don't know. Because this person could have very well broken your heart in the past. You know? Okay, that felt good. Let's cut this one. All right. We're going to clarify the Ace of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Something that may have taken a long time to get here is finally here. It's time. If you've been waiting on love, it's here. It's time. Yes, and it's coming out. Something that you've been waiting on for a long time. Possibly from this earth sign. Okay. Yep. Seven of Pentacles. This is something that you've been waiting on. This is something that you've invested in. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah. My hands are a little. Either way, this is something that you've invested in. You've been working on. You've been waiting on. It's been slowly coming, and it's here. It's here. The time is now. Seven of Wands. Okay, with the strength card. Clarify with the strength card. What I'm going to say with the seven of wands is that long-term success and courage. So you might have the courage to, um, you might be having the courage to withhold yourself sexually from this person. Um, and you're trying to be strong because you're looking the other way. Like, you know what? You're going to have to offer me more than what you're going to have to come Correct. You're gonna have to bring something more. So you look at the queen. She's like, if you can see it, she's not facing the king. You're gonna have to bring something more to the table. Clarify the queen of cups. We already know who the queen of cups is. Queen of cups is Pisces all day. Queen of cups. Clarify the queen of cups. Come on. Your mic ring, Gabrielle. 
all right and the king of pentacles so that to me is an earth sign and a water sign so if you've been waiting on a earth sign to come your way it seems like the time is now he's coming you're gonna be able to celebrate this and not only is he coming he's coming as the king of pentacles okay and you have the king of pentacles twice in this reading so definitely not only is he financially stable he's also <clears throat> excuse me reliable successful and wealthy so whoever this man is is here he's here now he's here he's he wants to link the king and the queen the emotion and earth water and earth perfect combination by the way he's here and with the three of cups we're speaking of <clears throat> sometimes you could say this you may have been in a three-party situation with this person because you've been waiting on him maybe you were waiting on him to get out of a three-party situation but it's abundance it's gathering so you're about to gather and have abundance with a possible with an earth sign or someone with earth in their chart very strongly all right oh. okay so with this three of cups out came the ten of wands so this you, you may have been in a three-party situation with this person and it was just an obstacle it was too hard to deal with you could not make things happen you may have given up on this relationship but we're going to clarify the ten of um wands please clarify the ten of wands Oh, there we go okay so you may have put a lot of work into this situation and to no avail so you may have left this situation but here it's saying that it was worth it you just didn't see that it was coming because whatever it was he was doing could have been you know getting out of this this situation with another person that was an obstacle you know, but he's been putting his work in, or you've been putting your work in. He's been hard at work, working, um, working hard, and you've put in a lot of work in this relationship because here, I show you, you've been putting your work in, and you're waiting for the the investment. Like you're not putting any more work in because you put enough work in. Now you have to be strong. Because it's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive um, the benefits. So the queen. Oh my god, no. This is not real. Okay, sorry about that. Have a connection issue. So, like I was saying, now. Yeah, he's coming, you know, after a bunch of obstacles and, and situations with a third party situation, seems as he may have gotten himself out of that, may, may have not, but anyway, it goes in this picture here, you can see that he was not looking at the queen, he was focused on his coins, standing his ground, and I really see a lot of bulls in here, so this is definitely got to be a Taurus male that I'm speaking of, but as you can see, both of them, she's paying attention to what makes her happy and he was paying attention to what makes him happy but from what things look like here they're coming together he could have been working on his business you know and that could have been an obstacle so let's clarify the ten of wands let's clarify the ten of wands for this Pisces mm -hmm. April 2020 Sun, Moon, and Rising and Jupiter alright yeah so, with the Ten of Wands, we have third-party situation. It was an obstacle, so you had to walk away from that. Either one of you. Either he walked away. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was him. I'd like to think the Pisces wasn't doing that, but I, I really don't know. Males are different than women. And then, of course, your placements and your chart and whatnot. So, anyway, yeah, this third-party situation was just too much to handle, so someone had to walk away. Okay, so let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Ooh. Yeah, this King of Pentacles broke your heart in a third party situation. Probably left you out in the cold. You felt defeated. 
Ugh. So I'm hoping this ain't the future. Let's go ahead and, and get some the final outcome for the situation, Spirit. Show us what we need to get the final outcome. Okay, so we got the hanged man. So this is a Piscean card. And also fell out his heartbreak. So this might break your heart that it may not be going anywhere. It may not be going anywhere. Or it may not have went anywhere. It was in stagnation um, after this heartbreak. Let's see what else. Okay. This one wanted to come out. Yeah. Single. Mm -hmm. Single and abundant. Somebody is single, pretty abundant, buying the things they want. May have an animal. May have purchased a small animal. But saving your money and just spending it on yourself, looking good. Whoever had their heart broke, you know, feels like, I have to love myself now. And move on with my life. Because he may not be showing you that he's coming. He may not be proving himself, putting in any effort. All right. Ooh, this took a turn for the worse, right? Okay. Tell me what we need to see for the time. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, we're going to take this. Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups, and the Nine of Cups is all about being abundant. It's about being fulfilled and satisfied and complete and whole with yourself. So, yeah, so after this heartbreak and the stagnation of the relationship, you finally found to love yourself and, and treat yourself better and move on from a situation so that you could be fulfilled and satisfied because this situation was not satisfying you that's what it looks like now this could be two separate stories really because we i see it as one yeah i just see one story right now all right so yeah right now this is just the current energy but i see you being single and satisfied with being single because once again, you're you're turned your back. You know, whatever this was, heartbreak and stagnation in the past just had you in a position where you your back is turned against this person. You think this person likes money more than you. This person values worldly possessions more than you. So of course, as a Pisces, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to walk away from that. Even though you have all this love for this person. You have to walk away. You're turning your back to that love and walking away. Because see that cup right there? That's self-love. And more importantly, it, you're more important than this SOB. All right, so let's just get a... <laughs> I was getting a final outcome, and here comes the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, you're focused on your money and your stability now. You know, the energy had shifted from one person to another it's like you know the situation that he put you in as the um you know the situation he put you in and now you are almost mirroring that you're more focused on your money now bump him right final outcome you have an anxiety you're still staying up all night thinking about this though you know what it could have been we're should you wait? Should you go? Should you move on about your way and stop waiting on this person? Because it's only stopping the progress of your future. And then we got the emperor. And we all know. And. Okay. So. We have the emperor. We might have the truth coming out. The truth might be coming out that this emperor walked away from something that he loved in order to see if he can find something better. He felt like there was something better out there in the future. If, you know, he probably thought that he could find someone just like you if he left. So whatever it was that you were missing... He just spilt those cups over and said, hey, you know, I think I could do better. And that broke your heart. So right now, you're focusing on your money. All right, let's get a 
how is Pisces financial situation going? Tell us more about the financial situation. What is what about the financial situation? How's the financial situation looking for this? Rising Archangel Michael Gabriel. Tell us what we need to know about the finances, right? Ooh. So we have the temperance card. So you you know you're healing from probably being in some <clears throat> financial burden or it could be a delay on your money. But it's coming and you are going to it could be a delay or you could be a healing healing from being in poverty finances. finances. You could be wanting to put some money in your savings account, you know, or get an IRA. So that it can, you know, grow, build more money for your future. You know, the kind of doubles. Oh, we're not going to take that. If you are going through some sort of court challenges or something with the courts, um, they're going to make a decision. Yeah. And you're going to be able to celebrate. And it's going to be successful. You're going to have a look, look. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And a passionate new beginning. So it could very well be that this person is waiting on you to get your finances in order before he comes back. Which to me... You know, it's logical because, you know, you don't want to have to take care of a person and stuff like that, you know, just hinders the relationship. But at the same token, real love is real love. You're supposed to take a person as is and help them if you feel that they have um, what it takes or God sent them your way or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be a hard decision for you. Um, I, best luck. Uh, see you next time. Have a good morning. Peace, love, and blessings.